All right, you'll have to forgive me. I started digging into um, some of the kits that Retro Game Repair Shop had sent me. Um, I don't know, every now and then they send me some of their return kits, you know, just broken stuff that they're going to throw out because they can't sell anyway. And, um, well, I started digging into them because there wasn't really a lot in the bag this time around. Uh, but there were a couple IPS kits and, you know, I'm waiting for my DMG video to upload. Um, but I decided I should record this and show you guys what's going on. I already checked one of the screens, um, that this marking here is my own, uh, I think I should feed someone. Um, the, uh, unlike the last screen, the ribbon cable on this one is actually intact. So if we, uh test this out, probably can't see it worth a damn, but the LCD is broke, yeah, there we go, LCD is broken, so it is what it is, not much that can be done about that, uh, this LCD was with this ribbon here, this LCD was with another ribbon, and uh, this one, this LCD seems to work fine, so we'll set that aside and probably set it aside with this ribbon. Um, I did have to peel this up from this screen. I don't know why it was stuck down. It just seemed kind of silly. Um, so far I didn't damage it, but that's okay. The other ribbon doesn't seem to work. So this ribbon was with the good screen. But the weird thing about this, and this is why I decided to start recording. Oh shoot, I just stuck these together. I should peel that off. Um, Anyway, if you look at this top one, there's like this weird texture on it. It's like kind of wrinkled. I don't know what the heck is going on with that. But on inspection, because it wasn't booting, except for with the broken screen, which I thought was kind of weird. It didn't work with two known good screens. I noticed this uh, bridged solder joint on here. So I'm going to try and clean that up and see if it works any better. I'm just going to add a little bit of flux. Can't even see. There we go. And uh, that's it. Hopefully, that's all I need to do. Um, even though it is no clean flux, I am going to go ahead and clean it up. on account of I don't know how conductive it is and isopropyl alcohol uh, evaporates faster. But I just thought the texture on this thing was kind of weird. I've never seen that before on one of these. And again, these are returns, but I don't want to say that it's abuse or anything. Just it was bizarre. It's entirely possible it's defective from the factory. Okay. So that's in there. Well, let's try with the bad screen first, just in case. You know, something blows up. Okay. That still looks good. Turn that off, you can see booting up. Set that aside. Try that one. Still nothing. I know the Game Boy's on, because I got a green light. But it's just weird. Oh, there is a backlight on. Okay. I just couldn't see the backlight with all my uh, other lights. Interesting. There's something else going on with this one. And I don't 
don't know what it is. It could be the connector. The connector looks like it's missing a few pins. Let me uh, try and show you. I have no idea how the heck that would happen. So the one that I think is bad is on the left here. And uh, get my spider. you can see how there's just some missing, I don't know, it looks like there's missing pins there. One, two, three. So that could be why it's not working. I have absolutely no idea how that happens. But the rest of the components and stuff all look good. Oh, there might be another solder bridge there. Let me clean that up. Right there. That's so bizarre. Okay. I mean, it's most likely the missing pins, but it could be a compound issue. having a very good time clearing this one. I suppose I'll use some solder braid. This is such a ridiculous problem. Sorry, if you can't hear it from my uh, voice, it's past my bedtime. Which might explain why I'm having such a hard time with this. I'm just gonna keep adding flux and hitting it with my soldering iron until it works. What could possibly go wrong with that? In all fairness, though, it does already not work, so... I feel like I can make it worse. Whoops. I think I got it that time. Yeah. Okay, let's try it one more time. That probably wasn't it, but what the hell. Okay, good. 
Yeah, still nothing. Well, I mean, I still have just a backlight. I'm betting it's those three missing pins. If I find another one of these ribbons with a, uh, I'm just going to attach this to this now since it already has adhesive on it. If I find another one of these ribbons that does sort of kind of work, or I guess maybe if I find a ripped one, I can try transferring over the plug the connector. This kit also had these like cuts of acrylic or something. I don't know what they're for. I think it's for, I think it's a spacer for installing it like this, basically. I suppose I can test that pretty easily if that's the same size as that, which it is. And if that's the same size as that, which it is. Yeah, so that's a uh, spacer. That's pretty cool. We've got adhesive, lens, and screen. So I guess we'll do another install at some point. This is that kit I was just playing with. This is a Game Boy Color kit and another Game Boy Color kit and a third Game Boy Color kit. So I guess I gotta take apart a Game Boy Color now. But oh, never mind. I was about to say I don't have one within reach, but I literally set one aside for testing these kits. So yeah, if you couldn't already figure that out, I got five kits in this recent shipment. Two GBA IPS, three Game Boy Color. I just now did inventory. So even though I did start recording late, you didn't really miss that much. something different this time. But first I need to get this out of here. We'll just set this aside entirely. Oh, my touch sensor. That explains a lot. Okay. Ah, oh, I can't stick that in there. I gotta plug it in first. Okay. So, try out this first kit. We're just gonna assume the uh, first ribbon is good. And uh, hopefully I don't need to swap that out. It does have a little bit of a uh, crease in it, but I think it'll be okay. Now, I can just set that in here. And 
use the batteries that are just so conveniently right there. And I would boot this up and try it out, but the screen itself isn't even plugged in. All right, so as far as the adapter goes, the uh, flat flex cable connector that seems to go bad on most of these seems good on that one. The screen, I don't know what that's about, but the screen looks good. Let's try it out. Oh, that's what that's about. Screen's broken. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Touch sensor works too. All right. Good for testing though, I guess. All right. So that screen is broken. Let's move on to the next kit. Because this kit will be good once it's paired up with a new screen. And I do have a bag of new screens somewhere. Get this out of the bag. Ah, because there's some adhesive. There we go. That's annoying. Okay. Some foam for something. What we have here... Is this another one with just a broken screen? Because I don't see anything broken on here. That cable looks good. Let's, uh, let's try it out, I guess. And the screen's blank. I don't know what that's. Didn't know what that's about. Hmm. I'm gonna put a game in here because I don't know why there's nothing in here. It's always more fun with the game. I'll try another screen. Like for example, this one. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, because <laughs> the... Hang on. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> there we go. Helps if you put it in the right way around, huh? Hey, that works perfectly. So yeah, this one just needs a new screen too. Let's, uh... Let's try that one more time, though. Hang on. Yeah, that's so bizarre. I can't say I've ever seen that. At least with uh, one of these screens. I've seen it with screens where the backlight and the uh, data are on different connectors. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I should put that on the front where it's visible. I'll 
I will try and strip this for parts because I have another LCD that does seem to work perfectly fine but has no backlight. So maybe, you know, I can combine the two because this one, the backlight works fine. Okay. Last but not least, it's not that or that, but this. Does that look familiar? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I think it does. It has my name on it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Why is this stuck? Connector looks good on this one too. Screen looks good. Let's try the screen and then I'll try the adapter. Because we might be three for three bad screens. Yep. That's what it is. Okay. So, let me swap this out with the third one. And let's see what a good screen looks like. Yep. We're just three for three. All of them have bad screens, which is a super easy fix because I did just get a shipment of uh, new screens. So that's pretty cool. I'll add that to my pile of kits here. Because these three kits from last time, these all still have the bad flat flex connectors and I gotta then swap that out. Still waiting on parts. But I'll put my new screens in there. I suppose I should be a little bit more descriptive than uh, no fucking good, but I don't know. Alright. So now I'm going to get these two confused. Three of these just need new LCDs, but I got this right here. Four screens from where did I get these? Warehouse gadget parts, I believe. Now these do have the uh, touch digitizer on them because these. LCDs are from a, uh, well, like a Palm Centro 690 or something, but it comes off super easy. Okay. That one's good. I'm just going to make sure I have three. Ah, screw it. I'll take it apart first. So last time, I peeled the uh, touch screen off. But this time we're going to try something a little bit different. See what happens. We're just going to take this whole front frame off. Might be even easier. It's what the uh, it's what the kit makers tend to do, at least. Not quite sure the reason on it. 
Maybe it makes it easier to install. Who knows? Okay. Ah. Should have been paying more attention and actually releasing the clips instead of bending them. You know what? I don't like that. We're just going to peel this off. I'm also still not sure if these are glass or plastic, so... Need to be careful on that. They're nice touch screens. Shame there's no need for them. And I guarantee you this is what part was replaced on them, because these are considered refurbished. Okay. And uh, don't need that. Just that. Oh no! Now I have no backlight. Did I break it? Well, shoot. I should have tested it before plugging it in, huh? That's a shame. Had I not just defaced this darn thing, I probably could have gotten a $3 credit. Oh well. I bought extras because I figured, oh, there it goes. It just wasn't plugged in all the way. Or right, I don't know. Yeah, all's well. This one I did test beforehand. God, I can't imagine if I had to contact them again. Because I already just had to deal with them for the iPhone displays that I never ordered. I suppose I could just rip this out. It's not doing anything. Not going to use it for anything either. But it feels wrong to destroy things for the point of destroying things. Especially if it already works, you know. Alright. Let's double check it didn't bust anything. Like the backlight. All's well. Actually, I had an idea. I'm going to use the uh, plastic that was on the touch screen. Just stick it straight to this. So that while I'm handling these things, because I will touch them, I think it's a given that I'll put my fingers all over every LCD. And one more. Let's test it before. Yep. 
Yeah, that's good. I'm just using my knife as a wedge. I'm not actually like cutting the adhesive. And there we go. Cool. So I have three more Game Boy Color backlight kits. Or at least the parts to assemble them because I'm not so sure that calling these kits is the best idea. But there we go. I'm going to go ahead and take this thing apart. I should test out these other two ribbons, but. Quite frankly, they don't look abused at all, and uh, since I already found the other problems, the screens were bad, I seriously doubt there's a compound issue. Now, granted, I could be wrong, but I'm tired, so that's a problem for another time. Uh, and, oh yeah, and I do have the Game Boy Advance kit. I haven't decided if I'm going to put that in a Game Boy Advance yet or try and cram it into an SP again, see if I can't do that. Same thing I did last time, but better. Um, if y'all have any suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and get these videos compiled and uploaded. And uh, Well, thanks for watching. Have a good night.